Hey you guys, I'm in Columbia today and I'm super excited. I'm actually on my way there. Um, I know that it's gonna be a little difficult to film out front because it can be a busy street, so I thought I'd stop ahead of time. I'm heading to a new antique store. It is called State Theater Vintage, okay? So if you guys love fragments of the past, you're going to love this place. I heard on good authority that they're still putting booths together over there, so there might be some noise, there might be some things going on, but come with me as we head in there. Before I finish the trip there, again, I'm Jason from Mother Tuckers. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please give us a thumbs up for this, and also leave maybe a comment down below. So now let's get there. I'm about a mile away. I'm super excited. All right, guys, I'm not even in the door and I'm already in love. There's so much kitsch here and so much Christmas here. Look at all this, guys. We have got to do some major exploring. So again, I'm in Columbia. I'll give you guys all the details. I'm at the State Theater Emporium. Tons of vintage. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of this stuff. Look at this chain trio. All right. I had that kitty cat, but they were missing their two babies, so 110. Okay. Look at all this kitsch. Look at these bunnies. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this kitty cat. Isn't this kitty cat amazing? Oh my gosh, only $20. Oh my God, look at their collar. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even know if I'm going to get it all in today. There's so much goodness. Look at this squeak toy. The squeak poodle. How much do they have on that? Let's get the tag flipped around here. All right, 40. I'll tell you, this stuff is getting harder to get. Oh God, you guys, look at this mushroom. That mushroom is insane. Oh my gosh. Look at all this kitschy goodness here, you guys. All right, hold on here. Let me pan down here. This is where I'm going. I'm going to the Angry Rabbit Lounge. Gosh, look at the angry rabbits. Oh my God, they're candles. Oh my gosh. Look at all this Easter bliss. They even have vintage. Y'all, you don't know how hard this is. They have vintage original Easter grass. You guys just don't even know how hard that is to find. Oh my gosh, look at all this holiday. Look at everything up here. All right, you guys, I will be back when I find some more. Oh my gosh, you guys, so here, this is in an old movie theater. So you can see these ceilings and then they've partitioned it out into individual booths. So let's, let's dig into it. If you guys love vintage cards, like different sports cards or Batman, they have that here. Of course, they have the throwback to the 80s toys. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm just going to take you guys along. People are still putting together their booths, so that's what you might hear. So let's just keep on going. I'm so excited to be here. Again, this was an old movie theater. It's in Columbia, Pennsylvania. games. They have just a little bit of everything here. Alright guys, it's getting a little noisy. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have found the Easter. And look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this octopus. Oh my god, with the, with the pink hair. $20. Oh my god, that is so neat. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at all this other great stuff. I think this is the Whimsy Larks booth. So many goodies. Hold on, let's check out this Easter. You guys know I'm a sucker for Easter. Oh my gosh, look at all this plastic Easter. $18. The green one I think is a little more difficult to find. That's the one I'm talking about there. Oh, look at all this. Gosh, I remember these as a child. This is 1980s at its finest. Look at that. Let's see how much these are. 
Only four dollars. Oh my god, that's my childhood. That is my childhood. Might have to pick up one or two of those for the Easter display. Look at this panther. Thirty dollars. That's not a bad price at all. They have some Balik. Check out that Balik. Just take this in. Yep. There you go. Make sure you guys follow her on Instagram and take a look. What a fun booth. All right, guys, I'm going to keep on shopping. They have everything here. Oh, and they even have things that would make Garden Guy Bill smile. They even sell the plants. They give you a description about them. Or should I say maybe, yeah, it's about the plant. Oh, gosh, Bill. This is Garden Guy Bill right here. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. All right. Let's keep on. This is like an adventure. And then you have these style boots. Oh, this is phenomenal. You guys got to get down here. They're stocking. Things are going on. They're still putting together booths. Let's take a look at some of this stuff. Like, look. What is that? Navy cut. They have a vintage box of cigarettes. So fun. Look at the brass up here. It is a good mixture of antiques, vintage, retro. Oh my gosh. All right, you guys, I'm going to keep on shopping. All right, you guys, I made it to Echo Valley Vintage. If you guys aren't familiar with them, you guys got to follow them on Instagram. They also have a booth at Mother Tucker's. And they just specialize in some of the most unique things from kitsch to glass, to even a slight little boho flare. But I am enamored with this. Look at this elephant, $20. He is adorable. Oh, they have the best plush. Look at the Smurfs down there. Look, they have a squeak toy here. 17 that's a fair price. They also make these retro-inspired signs. So again, make sure you're following them. Let me back up here so you guys can take it all in. Such a fun space. They got it covered. All right, gonna keep shopping. You guys, check out this chalkware lamp. He is serenading his lady friend. This is so neat. I've never seen one like that. All right, hang on. Let me see how much this is. It's $55. And that's actually, that's glass in there. That's a thin pane of glass. That is so neat. And each one of these booths, it's a person personalize them. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that an incredible, that almost looks like a needle point. Oh, that's so neat. Great, great style. Oh, look at this thermometer here. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at this cruel. A hundred dollars. That is very clean. That seems like a very fair price on that. Just a little bit of everything in here. All right, guys, I'm going to keep shopping. I am so into these hobbyist or studio pieces. You know, I mean, I collect the left in, the hold Howard, but like, seriously, what I love about these is the molds are the same if I can get my hand on the tag. $16.50. You guys, I'm telling you, these will be the next collectible because each one is different. And some of these people did a great job when it came to creating these. So for $16.50, wouldn't he be great in your Easter display? Now take a look at this booth. Look at all the vintage ads on the wall. Man, they did a great job. This is so fun. You guys are in every corner. It's like a completely different store. This is phenomenal. 
I am not going to be able to not come back here and film again. And then if you guys look up here on the stage, they have a tiki lounge up there. Oh my God, look at this table. Look at, the, look at the red leather. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's around every corner, there's something new. They have like an old vintage kitchen set up up here. Then they have a tiki lounge. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is fun. This is like a one of a kind adventure. They just have a little bit of everything. Like even look at that antique mantle clock. And they have the National Biscuit Company. And then, with a slow pan, then we're back up here to the Pyrex area. Like, you can't not come in here and find something for everybody. Oh my God, look at this chair. My gosh. Look how marvelous, Nasal. What a great sofa. And it's only $350. That is not a bad price. Don't you feel like you just walked into somebody's living room? And then look at these two mid-century chairs up here. The vinyl. Oh my gosh. And the tiki bar. Again, guys, they're doing construction in here still. They did open about a week ago, but people are still putting their booze together. So let's go on up here. Now we're on the stage of the old theater. Oh my gosh, look what they did to the ceiling tile. Oh, do you think Tina would let me do that to Mother Tuckers? Oh my gosh. Oh my God, I feel like I'm in somebody's kitchen. And the prices are really good. $13 on that. Look at the poodles. Oh, we love ourselves a good glass bake love mug. 16, not too bad. They got the jadeite. Oh my gosh, and that tiki bar. Let's get over there. You guys, I don't know if you know this, but I used to collect Hawaii things, tiki things, luau things, all sorts of things like that. Now, I did keep most of my tiki collection, so there is a part of me that is always enamored and fascinated by these tikis. Oh my gosh, look at that. Would that be a taxidermied blowfish? I don't know, but here, let's spin around here so you guys can see. Here's the view from the stage. It's a large, gorgeous facility. Look at that ceiling. And then it continues over here. Oh, and they have vintage clothing. What a fun place to visit when you're here in Colombia. And do you see it? Hang on a minute. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at those QBs. It is a black raspberry ice cream. Oh my God, they're all QBs. Oh my gosh, $18. We're gonna go on a ride, guys. Cherry vanilla. Oh my God, chocolate almond. Oh my God, this is so fun. Oh my gosh, you guys. Any QB collector, could you imagine having that in your collection? And then I like this one down here. Real rich ice cream. Very patriotic, good for your 4th of July display. And then I love the vintage magazines. And let's not forget that dress. Let's see how much this is. Let's see how much this is. $45, guys. Boy, the prices are really good over here. This is so good and amazing, you guys. Look at all this. All right, I'll be back. And if you guys were fans of Fragments of the Past, this is where everything has been moved to, to my knowledge. So again, you have that same flair, that same feel, mixed in with your kitsch, your mid-century. And oh my gosh, you guys. If you cannot find what you're looking for here, I would be amazed. Look at the Lucite candles. Oh my gosh, Lucite candles and their stand, $95. Not too bad, great for a collector. Look at all these vintage alarm clocks. Boy, this place is fantastic. I mean, seriously, how great would it be to decorate your man cave with some of these vintage pool balls? 
these are your chicken of the sea. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these, but these, oh gosh, I forget which company produced these. And they have their holder, which is amazing. Gosh, I forget who made these. Yes, it was California Pottery. And they were your little individual casseroles. Chicken of the sea. Those are some colors I'd never seen before. Or should I say I haven't seen them in a while. Plus they have their metal stands. They have tons of little advertising pieces. Look at all these old medicine bottles. Amazing. You know, eight dollars. Let's get that into focus. That is so fun. Alright, you guys. I'm not going to show you everything because you guys got to get over here and check this out. If you guys are looking for your Velvet Eagle needs, they have it covered, y'all. They even have paint by numbers. Look at all this glass up here. And it's reasonably priced. Look at this Viking. I'm pretty sure this is Viking. $45, guys. That is not bad for one of those smoothies. Well, I think I'm going to snag a few little Easter pieces for myself. And I might show them to you in an upcoming haul or tack it on to the end of this video. But you guys got to get out here when you're in Columbia. Support this new business. It's pretty much an established business. They've been around for a while with fragments of the past, some new dealers. Oh my gosh, look at the shell art. And you guys honestly got to come over here because I know some of the dealers in there constantly stocking. Merchandise is changing. Lots of new things. Oh my gosh, look at this hat. Oh my gosh. And then vintage. Oh my god, what are they? They are... They're little decals? Oh my god, they're miniature records. You guys, look at all this. Look at these. They're like Danish little beetle fellas. Oh my gosh, there's some stuff in here that I have never seen before. Look at the artwork of the vintage. It's, oh, it's a mid-century church. You know that hung in some vestibule for a long time. 1970s. All right. guys look at we even have Elvis oh my gosh another booth filled with clothing and again you guys I will come back and showcase some individual booths I just wanted to do a quick overview so you guys get over here and check this out and I'm telling you I think I need one or two of these in my life I take it they're handmade one of a kind so all right you guys I hope I gave you a good taste of what it's like over here. And you guys are going to have to come and check it out on your own. All right, you guys, it was small but mighty, but I did find a few things for upcoming live sales in here. Make sure you get over here. We are in the lovely town of Columbia. We are at the State Street Vintage. They are calling themselves, let me spin it, calling themselves the State Theater Vintage Emporium. So, again, hopefully you guys had a good time shopping with me today. Please make sure you're following them on Instagram. I will put all their information down below in the description along with their address so you guys can get on over here when you're shopping in Columbia. This is a must stop. So guys, please make sure you're subscribed to us here at Mother Tucker's Antiques. We'd greatly appreciate it. Please give us a thumbs up and put a comment down below and let me know what you thought of today's video. So till the next one, have a good one.